Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to be filming today. It is like I've been shopping today and I got home and I'm like, I have to film this, I have to film this. I got this hat today. Let me know what you think. I know it's a bit weird to wear a hat inside, but yeah, I, yeah, I'm not really a hat person, but I thought I'd try it out, something a little bit different. Anyway, so today's video is an unboxing and a review on the Olympus TG870. So as you guys may or may not know, this camera is actually out in April. And my fiance is in amazing. I'm so excited that he found this, he got this, and I have this. So I've had it for a few weeks now, um, and I have used it. So you may see it in some like some vlogs and things before that this is actually filmed. But I wanted to, you know, do an unboxing and review in one so I can give you an exact, you know, my my actual thoughts on it after using it for a little bit. So this is the box that you get. So it's quite big. Opening it up looks like this. I'm sorry about the glare. So it comes with this. This is a like a water a floatable hand strap. So you attach this to the camera and it will float. So if you're using it in the water, it's not going to sink to the bottom. And then inside this box is the actual camera box. So of course on the top, it was hard to get it back in properly. So all like the instruction manual, D, I, yeah, I've never used one of those CDs in my life, so I'm not too sure. Charger, which is just one of these charges how you have this you plug one end in and then you plug the other end in and into the power point so good good at explaining aren't i and strap here but i actually have a different one on which i'll show you and then the camera tucked away in there so i'll just show you this is what it looks like So I really like it. My initial thought when I first opened it was, wow, it's a lot heavier than I thought it would be. I think because I'm just used to like a, with a smaller camera, you would just assume it to be a lot lighter. But yeah, so just maybe be aware of that as well. Not as light as I thought. The strap that I have on it is this one. So this is actually a Nintendo Wii strap. I've always used these kind on my waterproof cameras just because you can move the clip up and fasten it. So you're not going to lose it. When the, the other ones are like this, there's such an easy chance that you will lose it. So, And this will definitely sink if you're in the water. The reason I wanted this was... We are going to America in a few weeks. So excited. Oh my God, seriously. Um, and I wanted a camera, a smaller camera to take with me that I can take footage of because I want to video a lot of this trip. I've never really been into it, but previous holidays has always been about photos and all of that. Never filmed anything really. And... Now that I've started YouTube, I'm so into like the filming and editing side, so I just can't wait to get my vlogs to you guys, seriously. And I loved the fact that it had like the selfie screen. So you can obviously, when you're vlogging, you can look at yourself and see, you know, exactly if you're in the frame and things like that. So I think that is what I ultimately wanted. I did want to look into the G7X that everyone has more, but price-wise, I don't think I'm going to use this camera a lot after the holiday. I don't know. It depends how into vlogging I get and things like that. But at this stage, I just wanted video quality that was good, clear, and I wanted the screen. So, and for a good price as well. So this one... I think was about $400, which I thought was pretty, like, pretty reasonable, to be honest, um, compared to others that are in the market, obviously. So, 
I've used it a few times and I don't know I, I need to read into the settings a bit more because it's very hit and miss I find if I'm taking film inside the house and it's daylight it's not crystal clear like it's yeah it's not but if I go outside and start filming it's so perfectly clear but as soon as the lighting is a little bit less it's just it really seems to fail so I, I have yet to look into the settings properly but I hope it's just something like a setting needs to be changed or something like that I'm not too sure but yeah overall I am pretty happy with it obviously when I'm overseas it's going to be mainly outside filming a lot of Disneyland a lot of the Grand Canyon driving you know from LA to Vegas and from Vegas to Arizona and things like that the only thing I'm concerned about is when we're in like Antelope Canyon because I don't think the lighting will be that great so yeah I will look into it a little bit little bit more and see you know what I can figure out and all of that but other than that photo quality is very good as well I do like that I haven't taken it underwater as yet so I'm not too sure how that is um, and this being in the tough series is actually shock proof as well and I think the heaviness comes from the fact that this is made out of like a metal or steel or something I read so I think that yeah that's where the weight of the camera comes I do find in the side here so this is where the battery in your memory card goes I do find myself struggling to, to close it properly and the battery is just in here as well so I'll show you that so it's just a little one and that pops straight back in there clicks in but I always struggle you have to hold it down and there's one clip that needs to slide up and then this one it's very hard to show you because it's black has to go to the side so it's two locks I think that's obviously because it needs to be watertight down the bottom there is a like a screw hole for a tripod or monopod whatever you use I haven't looked into programming it yet but a good thing this button here apparently you can program it so you know if you want to start filming I can press that button to start filming in or take a photo whatever whatever you want to do and yeah I think for the price it is quite good what it's like so yeah if you're taking photos something very different but yeah I like it so I would at this stage recommend it it was honestly it was between this and a GoPro GoPros were that little bit more expensive but still achievable but I also found I didn't love that little fish eye bit and they didn't have the screen that flips up so yeah I honestly I do prefer this so yeah, any questions or comments, please leave them down in the comment box below. Please also give this a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I do videos every week for you guys. And thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. Bye.